Because remember, perception, especially your perceptions, I don't mean your, our perceptions as a human being. Sometimes I forget. <coughs> perceptions are a particular faculty. So we can't rely on them for everything. You know? It's like you can't rely on sight to tell you how uh, warm something is. You have indications sometimes. Sometimes. Not often. Yeah. yeah. Etc. You know, you can't you can't rely on sensations to tell you how far something is from you. You can't rely on hearing to tell you what color something is. I think I'm getting an orange. <laughs> oh no, I, I'm eating it. <laughs> Unless you're that one guy who is colorblind and got an implant in his head that makes noises. This colors. He makes noises to what? He, he got an implant that makes noises for different colors. So colors oh. show up as sound for him. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. He's not, but he's, he's, he he's an has no, he's not, not visually. No. Okay. Sound. So it's not colors like we have, it's just a relationship to blue, <laughs> brown. So I remember I saw on Discovery Channel a guy who was blind and he would do something with his mouth, like make a sound, and then he could say where objects were, like bats, and he, were in this, uh, he was in this dark room, and I, I can't exactly remember, but I do think he had something about colors of objects that he had something about that distinction? I don't think so. Pretty sure but I saw the same thing. In that. Okay, yeah, and his son also learned to locate objects that way. Yeah. Even yeah. Even though the son was um, at vision. Yes. We can do lots of things. But do you get my point? Yes. Okay. <laughs> See this? So if we limit ourselves to the perceptive faculties, we're in a very small domain. Even though it's huge for you, it's a small domain. You know, just figure that out. See, so we have to create the possibility we can uh, become conscious of stuff outside of our perceptions and perhaps even experience stuff and certainly think stuff outside of our perceptive faculties. Now, how you interpret all this, also, remember we did this work on perspective, cosmology, how you hold this to exist, you know, you and your belief systems about it, your belief systems about it, you know, your cosmological or universal belief systems about all this stuff and, and stuff you apply. Right? We're going we're gonna to get back into that. But first, remember we're doing survival? I just asked you to get so, Did you get that? The bull. At first you can't see it. And then you find the traces. Stuff you're doing. And then you see it everywhere. You can't not see it. You can't not see it. I mean, if you are conscious of what I'm talking about, if you grasp what I'm talking about, you see? It is everything. But it's not everything. It's self-survival. It dominates your mind. It dominates your experience. That's what is your experience. You see, it's what dominates your experience. Dominates your mind, okay. etc. And runs you, runs everything. And so you embark on taming it and riding it home. <laughs>